everyone and welcome back to another painting tutorial with Oscar Lars Painting Studio. Today we're going to do a little bit of a different tutorial where we're actually not doing an Age of Sigmar subject. We're going to paint a Necromunda red armor. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. Let's begin. The palette we're using for this tutorial is Corn Red, Evil Sun Scarlet, and Fire Dragon Bright. The brushes I'm using in this tutorial is the Redgrass Game Size 2 and Size Double Zero. The first step I do is take in the corn red and put down two thin coats to cover the entire armor. Make sure that it's a clean and consistent layer. The second step is to mix in Evil Sun Scarlet into the corn red. To the look, not to the quantity, you want it to be about 25% Evil Sun Scarlet and 75% corn red as a reference point. Corn red is a base paint, which means it has higher quantity of pigments in it. Therefore, you cannot simply mix based on quantity. You apply this mixture to the top part, about 80% of so, of the armor plates. As you can see, this is what I'm doing to the chest plate. On his shoulder plate, I cover a large middle section. Try to adjust your method of applying the paint to the armor structure in this fashion. After this, I switch to my smaller brush. I only do so here as the armor plates are quite small. If you're painting something bigger, you should continue using your larger brush. The third step is to add in more Evil Sun Scarlet into the mix, taking it to about a 50-50 ratio between the two paints. Now remember, not quantity, but to the look of it. Apply this in a similar fashion, leaving a bit of the previous layer showing in between this application and the pure corn red. This will start to look as a smooth transition as we keep painting lighter colors on top of each other. The fourth step is to mix in more Evil Sun Scarlet, now taking it past the 50-50 ratio into about a 75-25 ratio between the Scarlet and the Corn Red. We apply this in a similar fashion to the previous step, saving a bit of that layer. In addition, we add some line work to any subtle shapes. For example, on this Goliath Ganger's chest plate, there is a midsection line created by the two panels as well as the ones on the side. The fifth step is now to apply the mid-tone of Pure Evil Sun Scarlet to the miniature armor. Use the same process as step 4. The next step is to mix in some Fire Dragon Bright into the Evil Sun Scarlet. The process of mixing and applying the paint here is the same as what we did with the Corn Red and Evil Sun Scarlet. Keep these mixes thin and clean to the top of the armor. The last final bit is to take the pure Fire Dragon Bright and do one final edge highlight around parts of the armor. This will really make everything stand out and look finished. For example, on the chest plate I do a T-shape to emphasize the shape of the armor center divide, but I don't overdo the Fire Dragon Bright so that I lose some of the previous layers and lines that I've done using a more darker red. Thank you. 
And guys, that is how I paint red armor on these Goliath gangers. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I want to thank all of our patrons, Benjamin Winans, Carl Martin, Jason D. Fluffer, Jason Sellen, John Gammon, Jonathan Edlund, Joseph Larson, Mark Alexander, Mark Mitzman, Matt Rutowski, Mike Elkins, Seamus, Stormcrutch, and Warhammer OK. If you want to contribute to these tutorials so that we can continue to improve them, follow the link below to our Patreon page. If you want to contribute by picking up some official Oscar Lars Painting Studio merchandise, follow the link to our shop where you will find dice, stickers, and eco-friendly screen printed shirts. We love hearing from you, so share with us what you liked about the content, what you're working on, and if you have any wishes for future tutorials. I'm trying to read and respond to everything, but if I miss your comment, it is very much unintentional. The intro animation was done by Robbie Shillstone. The editing for this video was done by the amazing Martin Kramer. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, and sharing this video. See you soon, and happy painting.